We're jamming out to Fleetwood Mac today. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. It's almost summer. You gotta and be we're late. Good day. And, we're, and late. we're so late. <laughs> we're so late for lunch of the better dog. Better late than never. Yeah, better late than never. We had some very big technical difficulties today, but here we are. We're here. So we're gonna get started for you. We have Dr. Lisa with us today. Hello, she's hello. The best. My mommy. She's amazing. So, what are we doing today? Today we are gonna call, talk about the. Oh, we're live. Oh, yay! yay. We're, back. we're back. Okay, so we're talking about the ketogenic diet. What it is? It's it's a high fat, low carb, protein diet. Something oh, yeah. that I think is super helpful. The first time I. I get it. Pie chart. Pie Bring chart. it back to elementary so, school. So here's a pie chart about basically. Okay, so you're gonna see five percent carbs. Check this out. Seventy percent fat. Woo. That's a lot of fat. Oh yeah. Okay, so why would anybody want to eat a lot of fat? So this is an easy diet for keep your um, lean muscle mass. It's easy. You don't get hungry. So that's one thing that's great. So with keto, there's weight loss. Oh yeah, get ready for summer. Get ready for beach, beach body. Okay. Oh yeah. Keto diet was originally used to help people with epilepsy. So it's been used medicinally mm -hmm. for people from epilepsy to a cancer. Um, they've seen tumors diminish with this diet it's been used for alzheimer's autism autism mm -hmm. um what else do you guys remember diabetes so yeah so let's go into like that the insulin um insensitivity that happens or metabolic syndrome when people's um cells aren't responding to insulin so this is a way you your insulin becomes so low on this diet because there's no what glucose mm -hmm. you aren't eating carbs you're not making glucose so your insulin is way way low and that is a good thing to throw at your body so that your body does become more insulin sensitive so these right here Beautiful are ingredients. food examples of a keto diet let's go first to healthy fats if you have never had cacao butter you can throw this in your coffee whip it up in the blender it smells like like chocolate. like chocolate. chocolate yeah but it's mm. white it's white so it is basically white chocolate and it's a really healthy healthy fat mm. um, so yummy. MCT oil you ever heard of MCT oil it's derived from coconut it really helps ketosis get really started and um, it's a it's a great fat you can throw this and this and your coffee in the morning bulletproof coffee mm -hmm. no you guys have oh, all yeah. heard of bullet coconut butter coconut oil Avocado oil, olive oil. The thing you don't notice here is canola oil. So mm. canola oil or sapphire oil, those aren't really so much healthy fats. And I would definitely stay away from canola oil, especially if you're with Roundup and hopefully you aren't having that. Okay, here's some more healthy fats. Yeah, no Brie, This is a great cheese, manchego cheese. It's made from sheep. This is from Costco. It's amazing. Nuts, then you can get into your nuts. The Salmon is an amazingly more of a fatty um, fish, which you want to kind of incorporate more of the fatty meat. So like a beef that's more of a fatty cut is really good. Um, the one fruit that you can eat on a ketogenic diet are berries. You can eat berries. Green leafy vegetables, that's what you want to stay. You want to stay at your kind of lower carb vegetables, which are green leafy vegetables. Call avocados. Oh, we should have put that with crackers. These are a cracker that you can have with cheese that are so low back and look at your, um, look at your, just your serving size and what the nutritional facts are. And for instance, with this, it's got for six flacker crackers, you have nine grams of carbs, you have six grams of fiber. This is what's so cool about the ketogenic diet. You always subtract from your carbohydrates, giving you your carbohydrates. So, that would be about to 20 grams of mm. carbs a day. And you know, you can, there's so much on the internet about this. You can go on the internet, you can look at ketogenic diet, you can say foods, what's good to eat, ideas, menus, recipes. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's, there's a lot of variation in what people say, how many carbs. But one thing to remember is always, you know, we looked up 12 grams, 12 grams of, of carbohydrates carbs. and oh. 10 grams of fiber. So you subtract the 10 
two grams of carbs. That's right. Ah, so they are very, nice. very low carb. Mm -hmm. So that's, oh, the other thing about the have this liquid mineral at Health and Balance, which is so easy to take, is, is you do naturally detox and you do naturally get rid of excess microorganisms in your body that you might want to get rid of. Let's say you went to Mexico and you have some parasites. You want to get rid of them? Great way to do it. Go on a ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. They starve because they feed off of glucose. There's no glucose That's in your bloodstream. Funny. They're going to die. So you want to <laughs> detox them. I always take this when I am on the ketogenic diet every morning. And I also take a little bit extra time. So things can become a little sluggish in the intestinal tract. So those are always good ideas. Lots of water. I don't know if I said that. You have to drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. And then these are just kind of things that you can always add that are super low I carb. Yeah. Cacao powder. Add. Chia seeds have great omega-3s in them. So do flax. Um, nut butters. We got, no, we so, got to say six. Go ahead. Well, one thing to keep in mind, too, with are really good, but also very high in carbs. Mm -hmm. So you go, I know eating berries, they're yummy and sweet and... And they can mm -hmm. go Gotta down quickly. And you, yeah. you go. So you Gotta do have careful. to keep track. You do have to mm -hmm. kind of in the very beginning start to estimate your car. You can kind of free flow. So one of the things I'm going to make today is I'm going to make, they're called fat bombs. And fat they're, bombs. They're basically, you can use a lot of different <laughs> fat. You can use nut butters. You can use butter. Mm -hmm. You can use cream. You can use cream cheese. You can go use coconut oil. I'm going to use some coconut oil. Um, and I'm gonna use some cacao in there. So I am going to make that a recipe. And so what fat bombs are, they're a great snack. So when you're just feeling like, I need something kind of yummy, I need something kind of good, mm -hmm. these are a great way to kind of keep your fat up because you gotta do 70% fat. You gotta get it it's in there. That's work. a it's lot, a lot of it's work. a lot of work. So I'm gonna make some fat bombs. Fat bombs. You girls are going to talk about yes. your diet. So she's going to go down into the kitchen because we're having technical difficulties. We don't have connection down there. So she's we're going to talk a little bit about like ketogenic snacks because both of us have done the keto. I'm on it right now. And it's kind of hard to get like everything you need in. You have to like kind of prep your food. So what are some good snacks that you've tried? Oh, let's see. I would say the Bulletproof Coffee. Mm. So it's really good um, if you need a little bit of energy, but also a lot of fat. You, it's what is it? Coffee, um, coconut oil. Mm -hmm. You can add a little cinnamon in there. Um, I add MCT oil. Mm -hmm. Blend it all up. It becomes kind of frothy, like it has so like a good. really good consistency. Yeah. And you drink that. Um, I do that. What else do I do? I like to snack on nuts. But like I said, mm -hmm. gotta be careful with that. But nuts are really good. Um, Macadamia nuts are super low carb. Really high mm -hmm. fat. That I've also found this macadamia nut bread recipe. Mm. It's amazing. It only has one gram of carbs each slice. And it's macadamia nuts. There's some um, almond flour in there. There's some whey protein. I think flax meal. So there's different recipes for different types of macadamia nut bread. But, you know, when you're low carb, sometimes you just want like a little piece of bread or something. I know. That's a good one. That's the do. way to do it. What else? You could do like guacamole with celery sticks. That's a good That's one. Good. Hummus. hummus. Hummus might be good. Oh yeah, there's a um, hummus called majestic sprouted hummus. Cause some hummuses are higher in carbs, but this one is low in carbs, so that one's really good. But you can do it with the flackers. Um, also, let's see. Oh, I've noticed for me when I'm on the keto, I really have to keep my fibers up, like my celery and lettuce and kale and stuff like that, because. You're eating a lot of fats, but you still need that fiber to keep everything healthy. So that's good. Um, I like coconut yogurt. So good. There's this coconut yogurt called Koyo, and it's just like thick yogurt, but I'm dairy-free yeah. most of the time. So anyways, that is really good because you can just put a few blueberries on it, and it's like so good. delish. Mm, what else? Oh. Keto snacks. Um... Mm. Oh, uh, hard-boiled eggs is a really good thing to do uh, because those are really low in carb, get you good proteins. But one thing you want to make sure of is any snack that you're having, like let's say you're having some, you know, chicken or whatever, you want to always make sure that you don't just have protein. Like you need 
to get your fats in there. You, you, this is like your daily intake, you know, 70% fat every meal as well. So you want really low carbs in the meal, 70% fat, 25% protein. So, and there is a good app um, that you guys could download. There is, I believe it's just called the Keto Diet app. There's a few of them, but it's a good way to keep track of everything you eat. And I know it sounds like time consuming and it's so worth it mm -hmm. because um, if you're really, really trying to hit ketosis, you know, you want to make sure that you're um, calculating, you know, that your intake of carbs and fat and all that. So mm -hmm. downloading that app. I think my yeah. fitness pal is another good one. Um, oh, yeah. you can it's like specifically for keto as well and you can customize it to um, whatever percentages you want if you have to like make any adjustments and cater to certain mm -hmm. things. But, um, and it's, and yeah, it's, those are good tools. It's really easy too. I, I noticed that like for me, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have like cream, uh, the cheese, cheese, the butter yeah. and all that. But there are so many other ways to get fats mm -hmm. that are good and that taste yummy. And so, yeah, it's good. It's, good. it's, it's good. a lot of fun. It's so fun. And I mean, like my mom was talking about, Dr. Lisa, there's so many health benefits to the ketogenic yes. diet. There's one amazing documentary out there called The Magic Pill. Oh. You should watch it. It is on Netflix. And it's amazing. It's about this woman who had cancer and she went on the keto diet, her tumor shrank. And um, it just. Well, I mean, I think it completely went away, did it? Yeah, I think it you're right. And then, yeah. and then she said, I'm doing this. For the, like I'm gonna keep this as a lifestyle yeah. and you know she yeah. is totally healthy she said she's around her grandchildren all the time never gets sick so her immune system is up wow. and, um what else there was an autistic girl I think yeah. she was like five or six years old wow. had autism um had no like she didn't speak at all and I think she was on the keto for six weeks started saying words for the first time ever whoa really um there's really, really cool. It's really amazing cool testimonies. What did you do? Okay, well, did you I did a little bit Ooh. of a double bol boiler, and I put in my butter. I put in my almond butter, and that the recipe just calls for butter and almond butter and a little cinnamon and a little vanilla extract. I put in some cacao butter and some coconut butter also Ooh. you can totally i mean there's nothing that's right it's gonna be good. really there's nothing that's right okay i brought up all my throw goodies it all together you're gonna throw it all together it's the easiest recipe ever, ever. oh these are good goodies okay so what you want to also add is a little bit of vanilla which is going to make it fun mm, okay vanilla is the best it you want to add why not why not add cinnamon. some cinnamon why Ooh. not oh yeah or two it's amazing Ooh. um nutmeg because i just I love nut mug. The thing that you can do is, this is monk fruit. It's extremely low carb, and it is actually a little bit of a sweetener. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. It adds a little bit of sweet to it, but it keeps the carbs super low. Then this is something else I've done. I've Last batch I made with some On Guard, which is an, um, a great oil to use for immunity. So I'm just gonna add like three drops of grapefruit. Mm. Then I'm also, I'm gonna add some berries, but that and, I might sneak a mm. berry. and we're gonna pour this into our mm -hmm. wonderful blender that has been a champ in our family for so long. Such a champ. These have been made in many a smoothie. That <laughs> thing can whip up. Whip. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Uh, it smells really good. Whoa! It smells really you good. You guys, I wish you could smell it. I know in I this live video. Maybe <laughs> yeah. in a couple years. They'll have like, you're not I, I, it. I, they will. You'll they have will. smell. Okay, oh. our blender is working. Yay! Yay! Oh, I forgot. <laughs> put it into um well we use ice cube holders so a little ice cube tray so you're gonna put it in eat to eat these yummy little cubes these little fat bomb cubes so that do it and so the way you do it. you can also use silicon um those silicon um 
what are they called? Baking, baking um, molds. Oh, and yeah. you can use those. And I w actually went to Williams and Sonoma to find some today and they didn't have any. I've just poured it into a Tupperware with a lid and just put it in the refrigerator. Yeah, you so can do that options. too. So many yeah, options. So many options. So, so many options. you just got to get it cold. Yeah. That's all you have to do is get it cold and then be able to get it out easily. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So with sweeteners, there's some fun sweeteners you can use that are low carb because on the keto, you're totally sugar free. So this is monk fruit extract. It is simply from monk fruit itself and it's so sweet. And so you can use this, which is amazing. I like the flavor of this better than stevia, but you can also use stevia. Stevia is a great one to use. And you gotta stay away from what, honey? And yeah. stuff like that? No honey, no so coconut sugar, no cane sugar. Stevia is a good one. Mm -hmm. There's something called ethyl, ethyl, something like that. That's one. And then there's one called xylitol you can use as well. So there's some options for sweeteners. Um, do we have the recipe? Yes. So. The super basic recipe. recipe is one stick of butter, grass-fed, one teaspoon vanilla, and half a cup, uh, sorry, one half teaspoon cinnamon. So what I added today, that's just your basic, I added cacao butter, I added coconut butter, I just threw, I just added meg, I added raspberries, Essential oil and a little bit of monk fruit extract. So, how easy was that? So, some and then I easy. did it in a double boiler. So, I had one pan with water in it, easier to do mm -hmm. it that way. And then nothing burns, nothing sticks. So, um, that's about it. And uh, try it. Try a keto, just go online. There's so much information. It's so easy to pick up information. Mm -hmm. And just to remember though too, we've all experienced that we've been on keto. Yes. There's, there can be some side effects, lethargy, new type feelings where you're feeling kind of achy all over. Um, so if you know, you're going to a, your best friend's 50th birthday party, you don't want to be on keto. <laughs> because you just might not yeah, have that much not. energy. Oh, so, and another thing is alcohol. I don't think we talked about that. Oh you, yeah. You still can drink occasionally I mean that's not something that mm -hmm. like hard alcohol right yeah so. so you can have and some lime or lemon yeah. you can do some you know, so the you know just straight up spirits you know the wine has more being added besides a Perrier you know club soda it's gonna definitely increase your carbs so if you are going to your best friend's 50th birthday party you can you have that so you can do shot of tequila or a little vodka Perrier with yep. some lemon and lime and um, yeah so mm -hmm. that's that's definitely, and it won't mess with your keto. Yeah, exactly. Stay on yes. the keto. Staying on the keto. Tequila's a good thing. So all four Arthurs are on the ketogenic yeah. diet right now. I'm on it. Raya's on it. Aria is on it. Gary Arthur's on it. Yep. So it's we're um, doing it. We're doing it. We're in the it. keto mode. We're half. We're halfway through the month. We are. Yeah. Yeah, you were on it. You were on it. I was. Yes. <laughs> so we always do a lunch with the doc special for all of you who are watching. We come in and do a biochemical visit with one of our doctors, which is basically like checking um, your foods. You can look at any food allergies. They can test you to that. You can check out something like the keto diet you want to do, um, and if it would be best for you get my um, check out your nutrition get nutritional counseling all that stuff so we are going to be doing that normally that visit is 150 but if you call in in the next um, 24 hours you'll get it for 97 so call in and mention lunch with the doc and say you want the lunch with the doc biochemical special and then you can come in and get everything you need we'll so, be waiting for your call we'll be waiting for your call <laughs> one other thing I wanted to mention was that um, we do integrative cancer therapy at our office. And so Dr. Marcella Dominguez, our medical director, she is amazing. And one thing she helps um, people with cancer, um, either prevention or recovery is uh, um, a protocol for them that's gonna be the best thing. So um, if that's you or you know someone that would be interested or benefit from that type of treatment, um, we offer that as well. So. That's everything I think on the keto. I think I think we we yeah, have a good intro. Our bases. Yeah, yeah. good intro. Thanks for joining us. Try some fat bombs and <laughs> give us a call and come on in for a visit. Here's our beautiful. <laughs>
All right, you are amazing. Goodbye. See you.